And we interrupt that, that story to take you live now to the Treasurer, Jim Chalmers. Paying tribute uh, to the remarkable life and service of Tom Pritchard, uh, the last of his generation of heroes, uh, and by all accounts, uh, a truly wonderful Australian. So our hearts go out to Tom's loved ones today uh, as we mourn his passing uh, and salute his service. Uh, today I wanted to say a few things about the interest rates decision and also the broader global economic uncertainty that we're seeing play out uh, around the world. Uh, as you know, uh, the Reserve Bank Board has kept interest rates on hold at 4.35%. Uh, this is a welcome decision from the Reserve Bank because it recognises the pressures that people are under, the progress we've made on underlying inflation, but also the uh, severe uh, market volatility we've seen and global economic uncertainty more broadly. Uh, Australians are doing it tough enough already. Uh, the last thing they needed today was more cost of living pressure. Uh, so this decision is welcome because it recognises uh, the progress that we've made on underlying inflation, the softness in our economy, and also that very substantial global economic uncertainty that we're seeing play out in markets around the world. Uh, we have seen some really significant volatility uh, in those markets in recent days, uh, and our own markets have been impacted as a consequence. Uh, the market volatility that we've seen has been driven by weaker than expected jobs growth and tech earnings in the US, as well as rising Japanese interest rates impacting Asian markets as well. Australia is not immune from these global developments. We've seen them play out uh, in the Australian dollar uh, and in our own share markets as well. Uh, I've been briefed by Treasury today uh, on this volatility and I'll be kept up to date on developments uh, as they unfold. Uh, our government has always put a premium on responsible economic management and it's especially important now. Uh, we've said around budget time before that and since then uh, just how important it is that we recognise the balance of risks in our economy, domestic and international, uh, growth and inflation. Uh, and it's just as important now as it's ever been uh, that we continue to deliver that responsible economic management, which is all about fighting inflation and providing cost of living relief at the same time as we get the budget in better nick uh, without smashing uh, the economy. Now, today's decision comes as price pressures in our economy continue to trend downwards after annual trimmed mean inflation moderated for six consecutive quarters. Uh, as the Reserve Bank say today in their statement, uh, we have made really substantial progress in the fight against inflation, uh, but we know that inflation can be sticky and stubborn, uh, and they've described that in their statement today uh, as well. <coughs> Headline inflation is more persistent than we want it to be but it's less than half its peak and it's much lower than the 6.1% we inherited at the election. I also think that having rates on hold now since, December, uh, since November last year provides a bit more certainty to mortgage holders and small businesses who are already under pressure. Uh, another important point from the RBA statement today is that it forecasts that headline inflation is expected to dip below 3% in the next year due to the government's cost of living uh, measures. They make that clear in their forecasts. Uh, we know that Australians are doing it tough. That's why the Albanese Labor government is rolling out substantial and responsible cost of living relief uh, that helps in the fight against inflation. If you look at the inflation figures last week, the ABS made it really clear that across energy bill relief, cheaper childcare and rent assistance, uh, we've taken half a percentage point off inflation and they expect a similar... Um, uh, outcome in the coming year as well. We've also delivered the first back-to-back -back surpluses in almost two decades, uh, which the Reserve Bank Governor has said is helping in the fight against inflation. Uh, so today's decision is not a surprise. We know our economy is soft. We know that people are under pressure. We know that previous rate rises, which are already in the system, are already slowing our economy. And we know that we've made substantial progress on getting inflation down. Uh, and we see that recognised in the statement as well. Our economic plan, as I said, is all about fighting inflation and easing cost of living pressures without smashing the economy. And that's how we are doing our bit to ease the pressure on Australians through our responsible budget strategy 
tax cuts for every taxpayer, energy rebates for every household and a million small businesses. And all of the ways that we are going about managing our economy in the most responsible way that we can uh, in uncertain times, uh, which we're seeing uh, in the volatility in global share markets in recent days.